Rome. The biggest sporting event since the coronavirus stopped the world has been postponed for a year, opening Friday at Stadio Olimpico in Rome. This is a sporting milestone in Europe and around the world. The opening match of the European Football Championship will take place in the Italian capital, the first non-Asia pandemic and the world's first national blockade. The tournament represents a major step forward on the road to recovery after one of the darkest chapters in continental history since World War II. More than a million Europeans have died in the pandemic, including nearly 127,000 Italians. After all has happened, things are improving. I think it's time to start offering something satisfying to our fans, said Italy, who tested positive for COVID-19 in November but was asymptomatic said Roberto Mancini. Advertising the tournament was postponed to March last year, with countries struggling to contain the virus outbreak and major sporting events around the world cancelled or put on hold. Many are worried that it is still unsafe to attract tens of thousands of fans to stadiums across Europe, but organizers say crowd limits, fan arrival time lags, social distance rules, we hope that measures such as many hand sanitizers will help prevent the recurrence of the viral infection, which has plummeted in Europe in recent months. In Rome, fans entering the stadium are required to bring documents showing that they have been vaccinated against the virus, were negative 48 hours before the match, or already ill. The world of sports is watching. If all goes well, Euro 2020 can build confidence in other major sporting events, such as the Tokyo Olympics, which will kick off on July 23rd. This is also one year behind. Otherwise, it would be a serious setback that could have implications beyond football. Advertising this virus is already affecting tournaments. Tournaments will not be held in one or two countries for the first time, but are spread across the continent with matches in 11 cities. Spanish captain Sergio Busquets will test positive for COVID-19 and will miss the team's first match against Sweden on Monday in Seville. Another Spanish player, like the two Swedish players, tested positive. The Spanish team was vaccinated on Friday. Russian winger Andre Mostovoy became the first player to be separated from the national team after a positive test on Friday. Italy's opening match with Turkey attracts the largest spectators in the country since it was completely closed 15 months ago, even though it only fills 25% of the stadium's capacity. In Rome and elsewhere in Italy, most virus restrictions have been lifted. A midnight curfew and the need to wear a mask outside the home are the most specific ways pandemics still affect the daily lives of citizens. Advertising underscore 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 app sports writer Andrew Damp contributed to this report. Underscore 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 associated press soccer details. HTTPS colon slash slash AP news dot com slash hub slash soccer and HTTPS colon slash slash Twitter.